Good morning, Steve here. And um, I've gone from, <laughs> well, I was bringing a lot of stuff. <laughs> Big suitcase, a lot of stuff. Because I was going to be gone for a couple of weeks and I wanted, I wanted my stuff. In case I wanted to wear that or have enough socks and not have to do laundry or whatever. But it was it wasn't a super heavy suitcase. And I think I had six pounds available in it that I could have gone up to the limit. But one of the things I decided to leave behind was my tarot book. And instead I brought this. <laughs> My tarot book condensed version not having ever looked at it before but um, I was drawn to pull two cards for today to get an idea of what I was working well what I was working with and I'm going to read them and I'm going to do the same thing that you might do when you hear these cards, you might reflect on what aspect of you that these relate to. And you might also, what I'm going to be doing is thinking about my battle of last night, or my contest, it wasn't really a battle, it was a contest of last night with a young man um, for kind of the general rights of taking care of someone that we both care about. And so the cards I drew for today, as I think as I read them will um, make some sense. Princess, uh, the Prince of Cups and the Prince of Swords. So both uh, male figures. And the Prince of Cups is flying on an eagle. So he has this higher perspective. But he's flying over the waters that represent the emotions. So you know, flying above the waters and holding the cup and in the cup is a serpent that frequently represents the spinal cord and our awareness. So what both of these princes are concerned with is the awareness of one, his friend, and the other, his father. And they've been uh, kind of a little bit of do, doing some energetic contest. So I'm letting it go because I'm letting go of an outcome. And I am planning on fully connecting with the universal energy today and just bringing that in and letting that do what it does. But let me read to you from from this little teeny, little teeny tiny book. The Book of Thoth about the Prince of Cups. And the Prince of Cups is about the airy part of water a young man of subtlety, secret violence, and craft. An artist whose calm surface masks intense passion, ruthless in his aims, Ambitious and obtuse. And 
And I think that I spoke yesterday about my ambition and my focus on my goals and how although I might have been kind-hearted, I drove a truck and every once in a while realized I'd run over someone. So there was this underlying intensity that was like, I'm out to get what I'm out to get. So we're gonna move to the Prince of Swords and swords have to do with the mental realm. And so the Prince of Swords is the airy part of air. So it's a young intellectual man full of ideas and designs, domineering, intensely clever, but unstable. Elusive, impressionable, influenced, harsh, malicious, plotting, unreliable, fanatic. This is good. I've never, I've never looked into this tiny book. I've always been working with the big book. But for whatever reason, I left the big, big book behind. I'm working with the tiny book. And the tiny book is talking about some fairly intense things. So I also perceive that what I carry inside is what I manifest outside. So now I'm manifesting the tiny, the tiny book. And I'm manifesting the Prince of Cups and the Prince of Swords, both kind of manipulators. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yeah, and I, I actually talked about the my friend's son beating us. And so this, this person has just got this sword. Yeah, and is riding a, a chariot of geometry and mental constructs, which he was just fascinatingly good at. So I'm going to work with this is, these are real, these are real masculine cards and we're coming out of that masculine control and moving into a feminine world there will be control aspects to it but not more than likely this kind of pressure. So I'm going to read to balance out this Prince of Cups. I'm going to read the Princess of Cups. But I'm going to read the Prince of Cups again. A young man of subtlety, secret violence, craft, an artist whose calm surface max masks intense passion, ruthlessness in his aims, ambitious and obtuse. I, I have to look up obtuse, but I think it's hard to understand. Random, but I'll, I'll check it out. And the Prince of Cups is the airy part of water. It flies in a chariot above the water, representing emotions, and the cups representing emotions, being pulled in his chariot by an eagle 
with a coiled snake in his cup. The princess of cups is the earthy part of water, the earthy, grounded part of emotions. It's a young woman, infinitely gracious, sweet, voluptuous, gentle, kind, romantic, and dreamy. Indolent, selfish, and luxurious women. Woman. Okay. So, being the fool, get, having gotten the fool card, and the fool is about breaking up um, static, contracted identities and just breaking them up and going into another identity. So, I'm going to go with the earthy part of the emotions, the grounded. And my wife is uh, a Taurus, and she is the earthy part of emotions. She holds the power of the earth. And I just recognize as a Capricorn, I am of the earth. So I represent the earth. And today I'm going to represent the infinitely gracious, sweet, gentle, kind, romantic, and dreamy aspects of the earth. Okay. And then the Prince of Swords the airy part of air a young intellectual man full of ideas and designs domineering intensely clever but unstable elusive impressionable influenced harsh malicious plotting unreliable fanatic so we're going to offer the Prince of Swords, the Princess. And this is magic. <laughs> I, I don't, I, I'm not like thinking magic, spelling, you know, doing that kind of like manipulating the world kind of thing. Magic can also be recognition of what is or may be and also recognize what is possible for a person who's in that control, forceful, manipulative energy coming out of it into its other side. So its other side, the princess's sword, swords, is the earthy part of air. A young woman, stern and revengeful, with destructive logic, firm and aggressive, skilled in practical affairs, influenced, cunning, frivolous, and manipulative. Huh. So we may want, not want to go with, well, let's go ahead. Yeah. Just going to go through a little bit more and I'm going to look at So the Princess of Swords is the earthy part of air, the fixation of the volatile, or the materialization of the idea. 
She appears in this card in front of a barren altar and has a helmet of Medusa on her head. So none of those descriptions of the Prince of Swords is, you know, I think we'll look at what card might help the Prince of Cups and what card might help the Prince of Swords. So this is the card that will help the Prince of Cups. And this is the card that will help the Prince of Swords. So the Prince of Cups is going to be helped, helped by the Ten of Discs. So the, so the Prince of Cups is going to be helped by the Ten of Discs, which is about wealth, prosperity, creativity, old age, influenced. So, so what this says to me is not necessarily we're working with a focus on gain, but working from a place of wealth. So there's nothing needed to be gained from this situation. There's just a wealth of knowledge and awareness that can be brought to it. The um, Prince of Swords got the major arcana number seven which is the chariot card Okay, drawing the chariot, draw, drawing the chariot, so not picking the chariot, but drawing the chariot are the bear, no, yeah, are the bull, the lion, the eagle, and the man. The whole representing the 16 sub-elements. The function of the charioteer is to bear the Holy Grail, in the center of which is radiant blood symbolizing the presence of light in darkness. Okay, so focusing, and it also, the chariot card carries the wheel of fortune, so any turn alters the direction. That's what it's steering this with. So recognizing that the consciousness that he and I came into this with, which was the prize seemed to us to be the one who could control the care of the man, his father, my friend. And I carry a wealth of knowledge into the situation and can just allow that to be what I present. Because this is the young prince and the father is the king. And he is taking over the throne
and he has control of the chariot. He has control of the direction in which he moves. It moves. And if light is brought into the darkness, there may be a greater vision that is seen of the possibility of what could be of the highest good for the aging king. Now, if the prince sees that What's important is taking over the kingdom. Then it's not about the king and the honor and respect. It's about getting the resources of the king. And so it seems to me that it's going to be about light going to be about bringing the light into the darkness to awaken our understanding of what is possible within the whole. So I think this one's probably just going to be for me, but, uh, you know, it, yeah, cause it, but I don't know, maybe it, this will be helpful to others, so maybe I'll just put this out there. It's not as clear as oftentimes things are when I have the book and it's real clear in what it's offering. But this, this may be a test for me to begin to not go by the book and look at this, look at what this contest was yesterday, but the next step of this is what we're going to carry into whatever interaction we have with the goal being serving the king and the king gets the ten of cups which is about satiety it's about satiation it's about having enough And in the book, it talks about the Ten of Cups being contentment. Desired outcome, success, peacemaking, generosity, dissipation. Having enough. Letting go of self-indulgence and recognizing that one doesn't want to give over one's power too early because People have agendas. And recognizing agendas can be useful. And recognizing that there's also a spiritual process going on and when we can let go of our agenda agenda we can awaken to the spiritual process going on and participate in that and that's the message and it took um, took 24 minutes and 24 seconds to get that message out or to, to understand what the message might be okay now let's go